Hey, it's Tanya and I'm here with another video using the October Hit Kip Kit Club kits. You would think after this long time I'd be able to say that fluently without stumbling over my lip, but apparently not. Okay, so here I have a photograph of a gorgeous little Cape Fox that we spotted in the Khalakhari when we went on safari, my hubby and I. And as it would happen, there was a fox cut file with the October kits this this time with the Hip Kid Club and you can find all of the cut files on the website and there are some subscriber exclusives but there are also some freely available all you have to do is register so if you're not or if you haven't already had a look do pop across there and if you have something like a cricket I do believe you can use these cut files don't ask me what type of cricket because uh, I'm a silhouette girl but I do know that there are videos out there showing you how to use these files with those particular machines so yeah there is that too and I'm just mixing some of the shimmers products that we got in the color add-on what was actually quite nice this month is that Kimberly with a color add-on she included what you see there which is the watercolor paper it's a Prima Prima watercolor and they come in these 12 by 12 blocks and yeah you can use them and then the only thing is they are glued on two sides and that does make it a little difficult to separate I I am not uh, very good at it so it gets a bit rough around the edges when I do separate them but it's all just practice and yeah it's a very basic water coloring I um, not very fancy at all I'm just plopping on color and I'm trying to trying to get that sort of goldy color of my little fox and so that's why I'm using primarily I had the mixture but then I realized that that yellow it's a oh gosh it's gorgeous it's actually a really shimmery almost gold and when it dries it has a beautiful shine to it so yeah I'm adding a lot of that on there and I'm keeping to my shape of my fox because you will see just now when I put the cut file on it there we go doesn't that look cute <laughs> I was quite chuffed with myself with this one and I quite like the fact that you know I had cut the arm um, here I want to try and show you you can almost see the the shimmer of that uh, gold oh so pretty but yes I cut my photograph in the shape of the tail and I was I was using scrapbooking as a means of taking my mind off of things and it works really well you know you just get into your creative zone and you forget about your troubles for a while <laughs> there's a song isn't there pack up pack up your kit and your no pack up your troubles in your old kit bag yeah anyway let's not go down that road <laughs> is it weird the things that you know suddenly flash into your head as you're speaking about other things Mm. Okay, so I'm adding a bit more of the shimmery gold because I'm really enjoying it and I want to make him a bit more a bit more goldy and prominent and then I'm going to get some of the embellishments and just oh create a little scene. Here we go. So yeah, glue down the photograph and then I'm gonna add that little white piece on top and sorry about the cat, there's always a cat. Oh I suppose when you have four of them there's always going to be one. <laughs> <laughs> that one in particular is not my favorite at the moment it's Saturday and I didn't have anything to do this morning so I thought yes let me have a bit of a lion oh no oh and that's cat hair no no there are no lions uh, lions <laughs> uh, yeah yeah okay I know I know nerd so no I am not allowed to sleep in in the mornings because for some reason that cat has a routine and if I'm not out of the bed by my normal time which is well roughly a quarter past five then he feels like the world is is weird and it's not how it should be and he proceeds to perform and I know I know I should just throw him out but uh, I can't do that <laughs> I'm a cat animal <laughs> Uh, no, that doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> I'm a fan of cats. There we go. Oh, and yes, okay. So let's get back to what I'm doing there and stop waffling about my stupid cats. I created, I took all the flowers that came in, in the various packs we got. There are some puffy stickers there, chipboard and the die cuts. And I put them all across the bottom because I thought it looked cute. And then I added that shimmer citron on me or whatever it is. It also came in a color add-on in previous kits. Oh, and I fortuitously found another flower so that got added in too and then 
I thought I was quite inspired by adding the moon. <laughs> I don't know where else I would have used it. So yeah, I'm really just creating a little playful scene here and I had a tremendous amount of fun doing it because I not only got to watercolour, but I also got to, uh, you know, play around. So as soon as I put that little moon up there, I realised that I'm going to need to create a bit more of the scene. So I'm making it sort of night time and I'm using the blue shimmers that we got in the colour add on. And these shimmers come in a hard format and I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's not a paste, but it's a hard. I suppose it's a bit like watercolours. Watercolours are hard um, if they're in the half pans. And then you have to activate them by adding water. And that's what you do with these shimmers products. And sometimes you have to add quite a lot of water to it to make them become liquid. And I've figured in the past I haven't been doing a very good job because I haven't managed to work with them very well. But I have this time, so I'm learning. I With the, the goldy yellow one, I had quite a lot of water, and now it's a gorgeous paste that you can work with so yes live and learn uh, listen to the people that know what they're talking about and uh, you know <laughs> follow instructions <laughs> not so good at following instructions <laughs> kind of rebel against them so yes so there we go I've got all my blue around and I'm you know it's it's I'm, I'm really quite I'm chuffed with it because it's cute. I, my imagination doesn't really lend itself totally to creating these, you know, amazing scenes. So I thought this wasn't too bad. And there's my title, teeny tiny title called Wild and Free. Because he is, oh yes, those little cave foxes are, I said it earlier, they really are the cutest things. And we're not 100% sure, we're sort of 99% sure that uh, we saw some far off in the distance up in the mountainside and they had um, cub cubs yes they had cubs with them and because these foxes look very much like jackals it's it's a debate between hubby and I whether we actually saw the whether the cubs and and obviously the mums and dads were cape foxes or jackals because it was a hell of a long way away and I do have my big lens but even then it's a very very fuzzy photograph but we're, we're kind of going to go with we're going to go with the Cape Fox ones because we only saw one, this little guy. Um, yeah, he had a bit of a torrid time, but that's uh, that's another story for another video because I have a photograph of that, and I don't want to. I don't want to tell that story now because it's it's uh, an awesome story. So what have I done while well, I've been waffling away about foxes and jackals and things? I put some of that washi tape down the bottom there. It's it's actually copper. I've been calling it gold the whole time, but I, it's actually copper. Evidently, my metals are not very good with the you know knowing what colours they are. And then I wanted to bring in more of the blue because I've got quite a bit of blue going on here with some of those stitched hearts and the triangles. So I brought out that blue paper and this also helps to stretch stretch my water watercolour paper so that it lies flat basically. So here we go. By the time this video goes up the November kits will have been revealed and I think the December document kit will also be revealed. So go and check those out on the HipKit Club website and do come and join us in the forum. Thanks and we'll chat again soon. Bye bye.